Hello. This video is to respond to someone who has commented on one of my Fata video. Uh, actually, he wanted the source code of my my code. Um, I have written uh, during the video. Then I said, okay, this is a nice comment, uh, actually, and um, because I want to help people to be a developer, the best developer they can be. Um, and um, I think that comment really was so good and that was so informative to me on what I should do in order to help you. And this is why I appreciate your video. I, I mean, your comments that you have made. So, um, and this is the follow up of that video um, so that I can uh, even show you how you can get the source code and how you can clone um, the, the source code to your machine and be able to run it. So I have a project, uh, I, have, um, I have a repository on GitHub called FATA School, which is the intention is to teach people about the FATA plus the other programming language that I teach on this channel. Um, it's just, you can be able to get the source code and be able to see them and evaluate and also you can send the pull request on them so that we we, we take this learning journey uh, together with you so uh, with that i'm going to share my screen right now and i'm going to share what i have so the first thing you need to do is to come to our organization yego box slash fata school there you will find the the the, the repository for you to be able to clone. Now, because everybody will be having, because this is a public repository, uh, everyone will be able to, everyone will be able to run, uh, the, to clone the project and be able to see the source code. And if they see that they can, maybe there's something they have done, they wanted to share to the community, so you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to see, uh, to share the, that. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'll be able to share that um, with the community, and they'll be able uh, be happy to share that with with the community too. So if you have something have you have changed, please feel free to send a pull request. And on the pull request, I'll be happy to to mention your name and be able to also share your code base of what you have changed uh, in a project uh, to the community. Um, yeah, so uh, you go to this GitHub, uh, which I will link in a video description, then you clone it. So everyone will be having the different branches. Uh, you can see that we have main and we have um, Richard, which is my branch. So like if you are going to, um, if you are going to, uh, to let's say if you're going to, uh, to push, you'll be having your branch. Uh, let's say your name is um, Robert and Robert send the pull request. You'll be having the, 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 the branch that is equal to Robert so that, uh, you know, all names will be listed here on the repository so that people can see your works on your, on your, on your related branch. So let me go to back to main because I'm the the the, uh, the person you know on the top of that. I can go to main and I can push to the main. So I, I can um, copy this URL and I can go to my uh, terminal and I can go to I can make a directory and make two. And I can make the directory to be um, FATA, for example. And this is going to create a FATA repository. And I'm going to go to inside FATA. And I'm going to clone this, uh, this code base. So cloning is like uh, taking the code that is from GitHub and copy it to your local machine. So if I do git clone and I paste the ULL here. So this is going to, um, to copy the, the code that we see on GitHub to my machine. Then I can 
even uh, change the name instead of being the Fata School, they can be like under my name, which is going to be Richard. So this is going to take the whole code base we have on GitHub and put it inside the folder called Richard. So now if we open the folder in in your favorite um, code editor, which is my on my end, I'm using the VS code. Um, so then code, then I'm going to open this folder. It's going to be opened uh, within the VS code. And the first thing you need to do is to do uh, FATA, I mean, is to get the dependencies, right? Getting the dependencies that we have in pubspec.yaml. And the first thing you need to do is uh, do FATA pub. I remember the command is that. So um, go, this command is going to do that. It's going to go and pull the dependencies uh, of which our project depend on. And after that, we'd be happy to, we'll be able to run the project. So now we have the dependence pulled up and now we have, uh, you can see that the code base has a little bit buggy, but it's not buggy. It's because the dependencies has not been pulled before. But if I save it, if I save it, now it's going to, the that analyzer is going to say, okay, I have all the dependencies I need in order for me to proceed. So of course you cannot proceed when the code base has something like that, red colors. So you can see that after sometimes after the that, um, the, the that analyzer has figured out, the bug is gone. So let me delete these files if it's not needed because I'm not doing any testing at all. Now, this is what we have once you clone the, the project. So um, now the, the other things you need to do is to run the project by pressing F5 on your machine and you are going to choose the, the, the emulator you want to start. So once you start the emulator, it's going to start up and run the project. So uh, so moving forward, the, the, the code that I'll be having will be on that uh, repository. Let me just say, okay. So it's going to be available on that repository. And uh, this is my previous project uh, it was working on. Um, it's going to run it and I'm going to wait it, but you can also see the, the progress here once you open the, the debug uh, console. So uh, that's what we have. And I think um, you understood how you can get the code base uh, of all the videos, um, or of all the feature videos I'll be creating will be based on my branch in this repository. And you can fork it and you can share it with your friends. And if you have, if you have a question, if you have something you want me to demonstrate in the video, I'll be happy to just do that and be, um, because like what I want is to just to be able to share what I know to you guys uh, so that you can be the best uh, developers. Uh, and, um, and I hope we can, uh, we can create uh, software developers in Africa and revel up and um, be able to get the salaries that we want. Because what really, what's really happened is that um, in, on this continent, nobody really, nobody really thinks that you can write the, the software, right? And, and sometimes when you get a job, you be in, you be underpaid in in an entire organization, and that is not the case when you go to other. Uh, continent because really the development has, I mean the the software industry has grown a lot. So there is this things of misconception of like can can these people code? Can is this the right developer? So it's up to us. It's up to to revel up and just make demonstrate that we can um, do some project and.
that's what I'll be helping you to achieve. And um, I hope you can relate to my story and you can um, you can understand the journey and how how the process works and how you you stack up your skills and and uh, you know you you gain the skills. So I hope we can do that and um, and I'll do my best. And if you can give me more useful comments, uh, you know, like those comments I have received uh, past weeks. Uh, it will help me okay. to create that environment, that community that grow together and that can benefit from each other. So uh, it's called Win Win and uh, uh, I really appreciate that if you can do that. Um, let me see if uh, the project has run. No. So now you can see that the project has uh, started. If I do this, uh, it's going to have this button working. And I can keep implementing and uh, as far as I want. So uh, I hope this video really helped you and uh, was kind of informative for you guys of where you can find the source code. And in my next videos, I'll be just using the same repository. Feel free to fork it and um, and uh, and send the pull request if you have done something that you want me to mention on this channel that you have done on your side. Because I want this to be more of like a community that is more interactive, that is more than the transition journey of the product we are building, the 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 the, the knowledge we are we are creating and so forth. Thank you so much. See you next time.